figure out my clown. Okay. Hey guys. Okay. For those of you watching the recording, we're so glad that you're going to take the time and do that. And those of you that showed up, thank you. Thank you. We've had a lot of people join over the past month and um, the past, gosh, the past month, we had 157 people join Great Family, which is crazy. In the past two months, um, people have really, really um, joined. I mean, sorry, can you write that down? The best thing to give your hostess. I just don't want to miss it. Just write that down so we can talk about it. Um, we have a whole list of things we're going to talk about, but like Nate was saying when we first start, got on, like it's a very open forum. Throw your questions in here or unmute yourself, raise your hand. Irene, do you have something to say? She raised her hand. See, that's how you know. Do you have something to say? I just was going to say that because I've been in Cincy off and on since 2010, and y'all, you guys make me feel so welcome. And even though when I ask silly questions and later I find out the answer, y'all it's not it's like y'all are very helpful so like for the people that don't know i think that you know it was beneficial to let them know that you guys are very helpful because i've been under people and it's like they get you to sign up like the first time i signed up um we got in it and like three days after that i don't even know where she went she was off the boat and like when you call and ask a question she would never return or nothing so i just want to say thank you guys Thank you. That's good feedback. Yeah, it is. It was our goal in the very beginning to make sure we did that, to offer that support. And I think we have tried to really do that from the get-go. So I'll tell you that our notes are not very organized. Um, they're not typed up in outline form. It may be giving him anxiety, actually. It's my handwriting, like scribbling. And I didn't do it in order or anything. So it may seem all over the place, but we are going to cover everything on here and then you know what we'll just scroll back through the chat because you're not gonna be able to write all that you'll be confused so i'm let's introduce yourself they might not know us i'm cassie shaw and we are your superstar directors can you introduce yourself what you do where we live i'm in the air force been in the air force for 13 years well, actually 14 years next month uh we've been all around. We've been in Cincy for four years. Um, let's see, you hit director year two. I hit director in nine months. Nine months mm -hmm. <laughs> that was proud of that, and you forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It was such a long time ago. It was. So I was a teacher, and then we, we lived in Japan, and I had our first baby, and then I just knew I did not want to go back to the classroom. So I opened a daycare when we moved to California, and I mean, it worked, but then I got pregnant with my daughter and the military moved us again. So in a span of two years, we lived in California, Texas, and Florida. And Florida is where we have been since. And it's really exciting to hear, like, it's almost 14 years, because those of you that follow us or have been around, you know, in six years, we have a plan. So we're going home to Texas. So we're actually there. Um, so yeah, we joined Cincy four years ago. When I joined, I didn't even tell him. He wasn't um, totally on board like he is today because a lot of times you'll find like when you join these companies, people, I've, I've, I told people early on when they would join me, like you have to let your friends and family know you're serious. They have to see that you're not going to quit and that you're really going to do this because in this kind of business, people come and go so often and they give up. So I think I even had to prove that to Nate. And we're going to talk about, once we get um, down a little ways, we're going to talk about when he kind of shifted to not be on my case about being on Facebook or just realized it was a business. So let's go ahead and dive right into the questions. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Sorry. It was been drawn out and getting to the, the, you know, I guess the learning part of it. Well, they're new. So a lot of them may yeah. not know us. They don't know our story really. Okay. So right. background is important. All right. Uh, so the first thing that the first question we got was uh, about the shooting star, um, which is, hitting 500 in the first 15 days of becoming an active Sensi member. All right, um, so you sign up, you get your kit. Um, what, what day does March day one? The day you sign, sign up, up mm -hmm. right? So you may not even have your kit yet, right? Right, all right, that doesn't matter because I mean, you can start getting order forms, uh, you have your online catalog, um, but hitting that shooting star is selling 500 in Sensi, getting an order for 500, 500 in within the first 15 days. Uh, and the reason that's important, one thing, it, it sets the tone for you and makes you understand your capabilities of like where you can where you can reach. 515 days is pretty good. 
And it's very achievable because at this time, a lot of your friends and family members, they're an untapped market, especially those close to you, you know, they're, they're ready to, uh, to support you. Right. So 515 days is, is, is super achievable. Uh, actually I know for a fact that, uh, Danielle, right. She just did that. Before her kid even got there. Right. Right. She did. It was like three days, I think. Yeah. It was like, it was, uh, I remember Cassie telling me, oh, she just blew my mind. Uh, you know, so that, that one's a, it's an easy target. And the reason, well, another reason, additional reason that it's, it's important is when you hit that 515 days, you've already paid for the kit. It, even if you bought the $99 kit, right? Uh, you sign up for $99. That's, that's already paid for, right? Everything after that, um, is potentially profit, right? Um, so that's the tone pays for your kit. Um, get you closer to sensational start. Yeah. And the sensational start, which you, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Go well, ahead. you may be thinking, gosh, I've already passed my 15 days. Why are they even talking about that? Here's the deal. If you're going to build a team, this part is actually very important. Many people come in and they think 515 days is so hard. And actually like sometimes it is. So don't, underestimate that and those of you watching if you didn't hit your 515 days join the club I did not either so don't that does not mean anything because now we are at the top of the company but we did not earn shooting star so there is potential there is hope and also also he also mentioned about your friends and family and I know that was one of the questions and really our friends and family don't buy from us we had we have friends sporadically but our family they don't buy from us, not because they don't support us, but well, honestly, they've joined our team or they buy from someone that joins our team or that is on our team. So you have to find ways and we're going to share tips on how to get out of that. But the point about getting shooting star, it gets you closer to the sensational start award. And a lot of you guys are still in your 70 days right now. Sensational start is very important because it's going to get you product credit. That's super exciting. That means free Cincy. Or if you're here, like you just want to make money, then uh, you can turn around your customers, pay you cash for something and you can use your product credit on it and get them their stuff. And then you have the money. Or I always save my product credit for like change of catalogs. So I don't have to pay for the catalogs, the testers or anything I have to get. I try and save it for that. Another thing I want to mention about shooting star, when you have people joining your team and they hit shooting star, you as the trainer, you're going to get $25 product credit for that. So that early on when I um, didn't make that much money at all, like um, that's not even what I mean to say, but like I didn't have that many sales and that $25 was very um, important to me and it still is, but I didn't early on, I didn't actually use that for my team members, but now, and this is what you may consider, if your team member hits that 515 days, maybe have a special gift for them. Like I do something, it's just a matter of me mailing it out because I stink at mailing. But hitting sensational start is super important for the product credit and then trip points, which we'll talk about a little bit later. You also, if you hit level two or three, you get, it's not lit up, but this, oh, you can't even see it up there. It's a, um, up here, it's clearish. It's a star warmer. You can't, there we go. It's this one up here. <laughs> All you see is light. <laughs> it's so bright. But it's a star and it's like a pyramid almost star and only consultants can get it. So, and you can only get it in your first 70 days. So that's awesome. Go ahead. Okay. So the second question we got to ask is how do you get paid? Um, so what Cincy does, whenever you sign up, they will send you a, um, it's basically like a bank card, um, a debit card. And whenever you get paid, the money goes onto that card. Um, so you can swipe that card like a debit or a credit card at, you know, any, uh, swipeable purchase kind of thing, um, and, and use that. Um, w what we do because we're trying to get our air miles and other benefits out of cards, right? We, um, uh, transfer it to the bank, right? So, I mean, that money is on an account linked to a card, but we go ahead and transfer it to, uh, so our bank account, which you can can also do. Um, the one thing I do want to say about the pay card, if you're a lot of people use the pay card just for their extra money, 
be careful of getting gas with it because a lot of times gas will take a hold on your money and they'll hold on to it for a day or two before they put it back on. So just, it doesn't happen to every gas station, but there, it does happen. And to transfer it to your bank account, you do it in your pay portal after you get your card. And a lot of people, if you're here to run a business, you may think like, I need to put like 5% back into my business. What do I need to do if you're mailing stuff? Perhaps you leave that. This is something like I need to do, but perhaps you leave 5% on your card every single month and the rest goes into your bank account, whatever, you know, you can switch, you can um, do different percentages and you'll see that. Um, you'll see that. And it's easy to manage on the, uh, on the paper world. It's, it's just super intuitive and simple. So the next question was, what do you get from the family store and how many catalogs do you normally get? Um, so, yeah, so th this is like a kind of a cautionary tale because for us, our goal with the business is to, to make money and not to spend it. So to be honest with you, um, we get like the very minimum. We, we try to put the, the minimum in as far as cost. Where's your hand at, Missy? I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Hold on. I'll find it. I'm just kidding. There it is. What were you going to say? Okay. So I was going to say that really um, the catalogs, um, we use the product sheets. We, you know, teach that, that they're a lot cheaper. But if you do home parties, that's where you're going to want the catalogs. So it's going to depend on how you're doing business. Yeah, how you run your business. If you're doing Facebook parties, you certainly don't need to go spending money on catalogs. But if you do home parties, then you're going to need to have those catalogs um, on hand to be able to do home parties. And then you're going to want to think, well, how many am I doing a month? How many do I want to do a month? So, Sabrina, you have generally speaking, how many packs of catalogs? Sabrina is a home party guru. Um, she is big on those. So, generally speaking, how many cat during a season? How many um, catalog sets do you buy? Um, well, I started with four sets, <laughs> but, um, you know, I take at least 12 to each party and I come home with as many as I can because, um, unless somebody asks me or, you know, whatever, I'm collecting those catalogs back. Um, so I usually, um, like I said, I do 12. So if you're going to do like two parties a month, then you're going to want to have at least you're going to lose five at each party probably. So, um, you want to have at least two, I would start out with two packs for the, um, the season, but, um, in March alone, I've got like four parties. So I'm four home parties. So, um, you know, that's why I got the four packs just to get me started. But if you're new starting out and you're going to do home parties, then I suggest to start out with, um, one or two packs. Well, so for us, I primarily do online parties. Um, I'm telling you, it's a lot easier to do Sabrina's routes. Um, you're going to reach your goals a lot quicker, and it's not going to be near as um, time-consuming with following up and just trying to get parties, and, I mean, trying to get orders on parties. But because that's what I kind of do, I generally usually purchase two packs, and I always have a, quite a bit extra each season. So I do use the product sheets a lot. That's what I like to mail out, but you're going to have customers that just want their hands on a catalog. So you definitely need to have some, and all of you got some in your kit, but this is also when the um, sensational start product credit, or when you have people that join your team and you get that $25 product credit, this is when it's very beneficial to save that for that. If you're not wanting to put money into it, while we're kind of talking about that, I asked Sabrina the other day for a team member and I saw it asked, I didn't write it down what would you purchase? Can you tell us, remember I asked you, like, what would you purchase with, at your first party, your launch party, you have a 500 $600 party, now you have all this free and half off stuff, what should I get that's going to benefit my business the most? Sabrina gave me a small list, do you just want to tell us? Uh, sure, if I can remember what that is. Um, I know um, a buddy was definitely on the list because um, people need to see those. I certainly wouldn't have sold as many buddies as I have, if I didn't have one at the party to show, you know, how the scent pack goes in it. And it's not just your basic stuffed animal. You need to be able to show that. Um, I like the silhouette warmer at a home party because you can show how you take the wraps on and off. Um, so that, 
that for me is I like to be as interactive as possible at my home parties. So that's why I like the silhouette warmer. Um, try and have um, an element warmer so that they can see the difference between the light bulb and the element warmer types that we have. And um, of course, when you you know have the opportunity to get one half off a diffuser, since you go, um, that's definitely on the list to be able to show. Um, oh, but with the your host credit, the Laundry Love Bundle, because I use the Laundry Love Bundle for samples, and then I have the empty packages that I take to my home parties just so people can see the size. So um, it's light enough to carry when it's empty, but people want to see the size of that tub. And I think that's helped me sell the Laundry Love Bundle as well because they're seeing, you know, I hold it all in my hands like it's, you know, look at all you get for $50, you know. Um, so that's definitely. It's all in the Laundry Love Bundle. The uh, Laundry Liquid, two sets of dryer discs, and a tub of washer whips. Yeah. So, you know, when you've got, you know, trying to juggle the dryer discs are falling off, whatever. But anyway, it, it's, it looks good and it's, it's a good show. Um, that and then any, if you've got, you know, anything extra left over to maybe grab some body products or something like that. Um, because, you know, like at World Tour, they had mentioned using the lotion if you're sitting in the doctor's office and offering it to the person sitting next to you. And that's a good way to break the ice, that type of thing. Thanks. So you heard, you heard her say, did I interrupt you? Okay. No, no, no. You heard her say, if you have enough. So when we are saying that and we're giving you these things to purchase to help your business, we're not saying go make a party order and buy this stuff. This is what you would get with your host credit or your half offs. And if you find like, okay, well, that's a great list she just gave me, but I don't have enough right now well then you just need to wait to your next party when you have half and um, half off and free because like Nate said we're all about making money not spending money I mean we have a whole lot of Scentsy in this house but it's not because we buy it I mean yeah. you get to a point in your business and some of you are thinking what like how's this gonna happen but that you get I mean I get to a point I have half offs and I literally buy bulbs every half off I've been doing it for about a year that's all I buy now are bulbs because I don't need anything and I don't want to spend the money. And um, if you're doing events, that's different, but just be very cautious about that. Okay, yeah. let's keep going. Okay. One, one more yeah. point. Right? Yeah. Okay, so with the catalog, right? Um, we don't just give those things away for free. Um, we don't charge them. <laughs> yeah, we don't charge them, right? We don't charge them, but we don't give them away like it's like, oh, here, Daniel catalog does. for everybody. Daniel charges them. <clears throat> oh, damn. <laughs> that's smart okay yeah but the thing is if somebody takes a catalog it's almost like a commitment like they better they, like they're taking this thing that you've paid money for and it's it's busy it's a book and uh if they take a catalog then you better feel extra confident about following up with them being like all right you took a catalog where's your order now okay um and make sure you're labeling it's them. not just toilet reading material it's you know they, they should buy something if they take a catalog. Um, all right. Okay, so that's okay. Um, all right. So, um, so the thing is, the, I think the basic uh, premise of this question was, um, what does it take to stay active? Yeah. Is that it? Okay, yeah. because your, your question is really, yeah. really weird, right? So, like, at a minimum, instancy, you have to have uh, $200 um, every three months. But the thing is, that $200 has to all be in one month, all right? So the, the thing with this is you have to be strategic with it, right? You have to have a qualifying party every three months, but that party has to be all within one month, right? It doesn't have to be all in one order, but it has to all be in one month, all right? Um, so let's be smart about it and uh, let's collect orders and let's bundle them to shave, save, shave. I mean, we can shave too, but let's save on shipping. Um, you don't wanna waste any unnecessary money on, on shipping, right? And when you get a qualified order, you get free shipping. To one address. To, to one address. Yeah. It is very important, to one address. So um, 
if if you can get a qualified party of someone that's you know not in your area um and you can give them the the credit or the free product or whatever it is like that then you ship it to them and then they can hand 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 it out they can handle getting it to the people that they handled the party for um or that ordered on their party uh if you if it's in your local area then you receive it and then you you know deliver it out to the people that uh made your qualifying party um so the thing is just to be strategic about it and uh, do you have anything yeah and make sure like when they're coming to you package them up I was gone in January and Nate had to, he had to package up orders in the bag, tie a ribbon, put thank you notes, and he had to deliver them. The more you present them well, like people are going to know, notice that. So one of the things you can purchase bags, I think you can type in bags in the order, in the order thing. And I honestly, I think it's, I can't remember the price. It's new they just started charging us. But it's a really good deal if you need it. Some people buy the brown bags from like Uline, you know, whatever it is you want to do, just make it presentable. Um, oh, you said, and one thing kind of on that, every single qualified party that you put in, you're going to get something called a perpetual reward if you haven't seen it yet. And this perpetual reward is simply another half off item. And since he actually gave it to us to help book parties, so you can use it however you want. If it's coming to my house, sometimes I'll offer it to, okay, so I live here in Florida. Maybe I have orders and it's shipping to me, but I can add a new customer into my workstation and give them the half off item and ship it to them. Now you can't do that with your hostess credits if it's coming to you, but you can do that with a half off item. If you're hosting a party for someone that's not local to you, I just give that as a gift and I tell them, Hey, because you got three people to book parties, I'm giving you a nightlight warmer for free. And then I use that and then I pay the difference or you don't have to do that. Don't necessarily pay to pay for something, but you can use it to your benefit. So if you're a hobbyist, meaning you're just here for a little bit, you don't, you're not here to really build a business. You just want a little money here or there. You want your Cincy free. You're awesome. We love you. And you make a great part of this team. So, but the one thing that Nate was making the point of is be strategic on when you put your orders in. Don't, if someone sends you an order that's like, for example, someone just sent me an order for a warmer and four bars um, locally four bars. Yes. She doesn't want six. She wants four, um, locally. And she, um, said, you know what? She said, I'm not in any rush. So just put it in whenever you have your next free shipping order. They get to understand your business and they're very patient with it. So make sure that, and if you're just here to do something once every three months, let people know that we can bundle it up. Now, if you're here to build a business, you should start right off the bat getting 500 every month minimum, because as a, in, in your, in a business, you have to have 500 to get paid on any of your extra bonuses, as no matter how high you go up. But as a minimum, you should start now getting 500. It's very, very important. And I'm telling you, like, I feel like for me, if I don't have 500 in the first 10 days, I'm stressing out. Like, I want to get that 500 early in the month. That way, I'm not stressed out about it. So 500 to be a leader. Be a leader. Now we're going to talk about something a little fun. Trips. What, what is that? Well, okay, so we kind of, well, I'm going to talk about why that's important, but we were kind of talking about, she's going to interrupt us again. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said, did Nate make an outline? No, actually, that's why he can't read it, because I did. Oh, no, that's what the problem is. Okay, so a little bit ago, I shared that Nate was not fully supportive of this business early on. It probably, it did take him a full year. So this is kind of when it switched. So tell them about the switch and why, if their significant other is not necessarily on board, how that can help. Um, so yeah, trips are like a big part of Sensi. I mean, they, they kind of are with a lot of direct sales things, but Sensi has like the best trips. And I don't, like Cassie said, I don't think I was like fully like, this is legitimate until she won us both our first trip to um, Cancun in 2015 2015 yeah we both all expense paid and it was an all-inclusive resort for five solid days and uh, i was i was blown away at actually how free it was <laughs> that was literally free that, that was <laughs> yeah it was like everything and even like um money for the days that you travel i mean they 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 give you money for just the travel expenses while you're flying there and then and then everything's covered 
And then, so if you have a spouse that's not on board, they might've been like me. And then you go on a trip and it's all expense paid. Well, I mean, there's different levels, but in our case, it was all expense paid. And I didn't see the bank account take a dramatic dip. Um, and I was like, oh, this is, this is serious. Wow, this is a real uh, benefit. And it was something that we needed at the time. I mean, we hadn't had a, we hadn't really had a vacation in a long time. And it was just, it was the timing was perfect. And that trip was actually a business trip because it was leadership. So it was actually very, I think something changed. Remember that uh, session we sat in and there, it was a man and wife teaching. And I, I knew that oh, Nate, yeah, yeah. like I had Nate hidden on my Facebook because I didn't want him to see me posting or because he would rag on me. You're not doing anything at home. You're just on Facebook all the time. I'm like, oh my gosh. But I really am. I really am working, you know? And he, um, I remember it was a husband and wife in there. I'm like, we're going to this session. He was really, really great at being in every session with me. But it was really, do you remember the husband and wife? Yeah, it was the um, police officer. Yeah. yeah, this police officer up there sharing. Mind you, it, we're, we had just been in a year. And so, like, seeing this man up there, Police officer, he's this the one that goes. Dude was jacked. Too. I mean, he was like, he was like two seventy five, big. Um, he was a black guy, giant arms, you know, wearing his tight shirt, and he was like repping Cincy hardcore. He makes all the deliveries for his wife. He does all this. Yeah. I'm over here like. He was talking hey, about. Hey. This guy was talking about. Um, they were on this like, uh, this, this like, drug raid. And they were like hiding in the bushes, like watching the back door for when the the dealers came like flying out. And like his buddy's like, "Hey man, uh, I know we've been kidding you about it, but I need some washer whiffs." <laughs> he was literally the Cincy man at that point. Yeah. I'm like, "Oh my gosh," you know. So that was really a game changer. I think even seeing like these are real people doing this business. And that first trip, I think, I think we. I think right now we're working on our eighth trip since 2015. That's how much, yeah, we've been on a lot of trips with Cincy. And that first trip was so hard for me because I had never left my kids. And now I'm just like, see ya. Not really. I mean, I really have a hard time still a little bit. But so this trip that we are working on right now is to the same exact place, which is super exciting because we absolutely loved that place. And we would never pay to take ourselves there because we just wouldn't. But the reason we want to talk about this is because going back to sensational start, you guys are, a lot of you are in your first 70 days or you have recruited someone else um, that is in their first 70 days. It's very important for you to get a jump start going. And I'm going to share why. When you join, can you give me those papers hanging up there? When you start your first 70 days back there on that thing, you are eligible for so many points. And if your sponsor has not made a trip plan with you yet, and you want to make one, then you need to reach out to them and let them know. But when you join Cincy, you're considered an essential consultant. When you reach your first 1,000 in lifetime PRV, like sales, PRV is personal retail volume, you get 1,000 points. That's a whole lot of points. And I mean, it really is. Oh, and if you joined in February, once you get your first 200 in sales, you get 1,000 points. They've never done that. And it's super awesome. So, Anyone that's joined me, I have this month in February, I have said to them, I'm so glad you're on my team. Okay, this is your goal. You're going to sell, you need to sell 515 days and find someone to join your team. And the reason I'm saying, and some have, some have it, but we're working on it, right? Like it's just a, it's something we have to work with. And the reason I have said that is because when you have someone that joins your team and they hit a thousand, you're going to get a thousand more points. But here's what is in store for you. You get points for hitting that sensational start level one, two, or three. After the call, I will put the post on um, Be Brave Family of the graphic for Sensational Start to share with you. But it's based on personal retail volume, your sales, and it's also, it's easier to get if you get people to join your team and they go active. So if you hit level one, mind you, I'll set the graphic up when we get off. You get 1,000 points. If you hit level two, you get 2,000 points. But if you hit level three, you get 3,000 points. That is so many points. So if you are new, I'm telling you, you, and you go get out and you go running with this and you hit level two or three, especially if sensational start, you are setting yourself up to earn this trip. One of my new girls, I can't remember, I did the math, but I think she's in just her first month, she double promoted. That's right. So she had a thousand, she had almost 2000 in sales. I just showed you. She had almost 2000 in sales. 
So 2,000, promoted to certified, 1,000. She got a team member who's gonna promote to certified, that's another 1,000. She promoted to lead, that's 1,000. That's 1,500 actually. And then she will hit level three, so that'll be 3,000. So she'll be have almost 8,000 points in her very first month because she walked out, and this may be totally over a lot of your head. And if it is, reach out to your sponsor, reach out to your director, reach out to me, whoever you need to reach out to, because I'm telling you, it's obtainable. And that's the reason we wanted to share why it's so vital. If you want to earn a trip or you want your spouse on board, or you just, if you want your business to change, I'm telling you, earn a trip. Because when people see you going on a trip, they're going to be like, whoa, so many of us earned this Mediterranean cruise this summer. And we have decided to take um, a different option. And a little bit of me is a little bit worried because this Mediterranean cruise is supposed to be so amazing. What a great recruiting tool, right? Like, and now we're just going to California, but it's good for us, you know? So but, the sizable cash bonus instead. Yeah, you will get money. So, but it is, you, even if you don't even know if you want to earn a trip, I'm telling you, work for it because it changes everything. Okay, we have a lot more. So we'll move on from a trip. Talk to your sponsor, director, whoever about figuring out how to earn this trip because it's doable for every single person. If you're in your first 70 days, it's even more better. Because I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, uh, it was a question about setting goals. And literally, for especially for newcomers, if you take that, um, well, these sheets of paper, you see you're, you're posting this, right? No, I'm not posting it. It's yeah. on Cincy. But. Right. All right, well, if you if you take those um, sensational start, um, what's the what's the hell they call them? Star, shooting, shooting, yeah, shooting star, sensational start. If you take all those and you set those as goals, um, they just give away, especially points for trips to people that are just starting. To, I mean, they're trying to get people on trips because they know when you get on a trip, uh, you get rejuvenated, you get hooked. You're like, I can't believe this is actually free. Um, so especially for new people, it just they just unload the points because and then too many to, until too many people earn the Mediterranean cruise and they're paying us to get off the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. That's what right? happened this year. They, they made it so easy to win that that so many people won the Mediterranean cruise and now they came to us and they're like, I'm gonna take some money and go on a different trip because the boat's full. Um, but yeah so make those things uh your initial goals i would say and you you build up all these points towards trips along the way um and if you want to take it from there i was just highlighting that to go last so goals are very important and you're gonna i've got like i've got i've got goal sheets all over here i've got it for the trip i've got it for my mom during the trip i've got it for um, my goals I set for my month, um, anything like, and I've always had that early on. You remember like the first three years of my business, didn't I always have a huge poster board out there? Yeah. Always filled with what I was, I needed to do. And Nate cuts hair. So he's got, I've said this so many times, I feel like on calls lately, but these guys would come over and they would see these huge poster boards. And at first they thought it was funny. And then they started coming. So how far away are you? How far away from your goal? I'm like, or they would see them checked off on the, on the poster board. Or now we, we just painted a wall and chalk wall and that's where, that's where, it goes. that's where it goes now. But goals are very, very important. Like set a goal and don't be afraid to reach for them. Yeah. So we want to talk about follow up for a second. Um, oh yeah. So follow up is something that we've had to progress at getting better. Oh, well, especially Cassie, because I wasn't involved in the beginning as near as much. Um, and it was something that she struggled with was the, uh, was the follow up. And you don't really realize how much you're missing from not following up until you do follow up. Uh, so I don't know. I think there was like a training or something that like really uh, highlighted the follow up part of it. And then all of a sudden she started following up with people um, after you know, sometimes it was after a long time and they're like, yeah, I've been waiting to be followed up with. Um, I, I've been needing Cincy like crazy, you know, I just didn't want to ask you. And so um, sometimes she, she can get really down on herself about, you know, what if, uh, you know, what if I had followed up, you know, from the beginning, you know, I could have had, you know, more recruits, more sales. Um, but, you know, we know what we know now. And so we're not going to make a lot of the same mistakes again. But 
don't know. So you can follow up in many different ways. And there are lots of different videos on YouTube. There's videos on Brave Family. But ultimately, you have to figure out what's best for you. And I will tell you guys, I feel like what works, works for my crazy life is I have a customer group on Facebook. And that's where my customers go. And that's where I know who buys for me. And I can follow up with them. It's easiest like that. And then, of course, I keep track of when they bought. And then I can follow up whenever. So you have to figure out what works for you. But yeah, I didn't follow up for the first two years of my business. And like, what if I had, like, it would have been a whole game changer. Someone asked about a party on the go. Can you look in this middle one, I think, and pull out one of those bags? So for the first year of my business, I ran it. No, nope, not that one. Sorry. It must be this one. Um, it's not in there either. I have no idea where they are. I ran it by just party on the goes. And because I didn't, no anyone here when I joined and I didn't and we went to floor we went to Texas for like three months so I had to figure out how to work my business and so what I got I think it is in this one yes down here sorry I went to Walmart and right now it was this same time so I didn't really have a lot but I got these simple school binder pouches and I'm really sorry I don't have one put together but all I put in it was two catalogs I put in order forms and then I put in um, 10 to 15 mini testers those are the small ones I don't have any of those samples right here with me but you have the big ones and you have the small ones if you got the $49 kit you got the small ones and um, I put in a thank you note if I had scent circles, I gave them a scent circle I gave them a sample order form and I mailed this to them and now I'll just give it to people and that's how I ran my business. They collected orders. They did all the work for me. Now I put a little more in there, but I did it on the cheap, y'all. And so if there's anything that I always invest in, it's more mini testers. Mini testers help me run my business a lot. And even if I'm doing a Facebook party or a home party and they're local to me or not, if they want it, I always try and get on one of these in the mail that or handed delivered because it's going to get your sales up more. So I do have a video on Party on the Goes. There's, it's simple. You're going to find I'm a pretty simple person, and I can post that for you as well. So one of the key things in this business is remaining positive. You cannot let the no's and the people that are ignoring you and all of that get you down. You can't. Like It can get very, very hard if people you feel like aren't supporting you. Maybe your friends and family you feel like aren't. Well, you've got to find a way to get out away from you your circle. Sabrina has always said it best. She's always said, reserve your friends and your family for when you really need them. And it's the truth. Like find people to host parties for you. Ask people, even if you don't know them, like we're in a brand new catalog season, an amazing catalog. People can get free and half off product. And I mean, just ask them if they say no, they say no, but you never know. I cannot tell you how many people have told me no about joining or doing a party. And then here months or even years down the road, they come to me because they see like she's legit this is her business so stay positive about it and the key thing like is to get out of your circle is to do parties so if you find I mean for me I feel like I've always said it takes one good party just one to change your whole business it takes one good party because you can meet so many people and honestly the best way to do that is to get a home party one of my first there's a party I always think of that changed my business and it was a home party and her sister actually just recently joined my team, which is interesting because it was four years ago, right? Is that Puerto Ricans? No, but I got the Puerto Ricans off of that. Like, and they had partied with me a lot, you know, but home parties are the best way to do it. But if you're doing Facebook parties, get those people in, add it into your customer group, ask them, Hey, can I add you to my customer group? It's where I just post all the Cincy stuff. And many times they're going to say yes. Sometimes they're going to say no. And if they say no, it's okay. I recently had a girl tell me, no, thank you on the group, but I'll keep your number. I'm like, okay, perfect. So I think I kind of went through all that. I'm going to just scroll down here. Um, I'm going to go through these questions and then I would like to take just a couple of minutes and let um, open it up to let you guys like talk for just a minute or two, those of you that will, and tell us why you joined Cincy, what your why is. So be thinking about that. Um, the best thing to give your hostess. Sabrina, what do you give? Sorry, I'm trying to unmute you. What do you give your hostess? Um, well, in the beginning, I um, would give the hostess like... Um, what I give? Shoot, I'm trying. It was, it was three years ago. Um, <laughs> I guess uh, it was something small, you know, like maybe a bar or. Um, so I, I earn shooting stars, so maybe I, you know, would grab a small 
like a night light or something from my shooting star kit. Um, but I, I wanted it to be something to entice other people to, because I presented at the beginning of my party to the hostess. So everybody sees that she's getting something on top of the hostess um, rewards. But now um, it's anything from laundry products, you know, laundry liquid to washer whiffs to um, a warmer. So I love how she just shared what she did early on, what she does now, because I'm telling you, it's a difference when you're making money, um, more money. Not, I mean, you're, everyone can make money, but the longer you're with Cincy, the more money you're going to end up making because you're growing your team, your customer base. And also you're going to run, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't need any more half off, half off items. What am I, or yeah. am I getting? Or even free stuff. Like. I just closed a party yesterday and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this $30 free. Yeah, it, it becomes a problem. Luckily, I owed Sabrina a warmer so I could buy her a warmer with it and not spend my money, right? So that works. The next question I'm going to ask Amanda and Daniel, will you unmute yourself? What is the best or most effective way to promote your business in public? You're up, Ped. Um, you ask people, do you want to join my Sensi team? Well, you don't sound very excited. And when they say no, I don't want to buy it. I know. What's wrong with him? This hey, is I, I literally just promoted. What? I ask, I ask people what they do for a living, and based on what they tell me, I go into Cincy with it. And I don't know a stranger. Hey, tell them how you say your Cincy goes. Um, I go put it in their trucks or their cars. I just throw it in the front seat. Yo, I, this is the key to Cincy. Like, for for example, I went in I went into work this morning, and me and my my other barber Jeremy, who also is on our team, we have one go, and we actually pulled it out of his truck. It's his. Like, he's not selling it or giving it away to anybody. But we sold six of those things in an hour this morning. Yo, know, just by talking to people, just. People we had never talked to since about Cincy before. We just talked to them. What do you do? How often are you in your car? Do you stay in hotels? You need this. What about the other night at the restaurant? How did you initiate conversation with the waitress? At Chili's? Mm -hmm. Hey, we had an awesome freaking waitress. And uh, I just asked her, hey, is this your only job? How long have you been doing this? And found out she's going to nursing school and drives like all over the place. and working two jobs, yeah. you know, and uh, so I took that as an opportunity on one of our business cards. I wrote, best waitress ever, would love to have you on our team, and I attached it to a scent circle, and when I paid her with, and had her tip and everything on there, I gave that to her with her, so who knows, maybe she'll call, maybe not, at least her car smells good for a week. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Casey, what about you? Can I open it up to you? Casey is an, um, so in case you don't know, Sabrina is director of Rockstar Sensations. Daniel and Amanda are director of Team Be Bold. And Casey is the director of Team Made for More. So Casey, um, I don't know if you saw my private message to you. I was trying to prepare you and say, I'm just jealous of that. What do you say to sure. random people that you say at the mall or wherever you go? I know one of your good places is like the oil changing place. Sorry. Um, I didn't know anyone in town whenever I moved to a new town. So starting out my business, I just went like door to door down Main Street, every door that didn't have a no soliciting sign. I went in and just said, hi, I'm Casey Griffith. I'm a Cincy consultant and I'm placing an order this evening. Um, so if you need anything, I just, we've got these deals and I'd be happy to order for you and save you the shipping. And so um, that was what I did to get my customer base established and to get orders at the time. So and that worked great for me. I feel like you, you have to get out of your head doing it. Like I've done that a couple of times and I'm always, I'm, I'm out of my head, but I'm in her head because I'm voicing her like, oh my gosh, can't do this. Um, Shannon, I'm going to open it up for you a second because I know you are really good about doing the same thing. And one of the things that Shannon, I know, I can't seem to unmute you. Shannon does a lot, or I know you've done in the past, is you've taken diffusers into tanning salons, right? I've taken diffusers into tanning salons and 
hair salons and like nail places and chiropractors offices and massage therapists. So yes, and what do you I have taken to peace. Briefly, what do you say? I just basically introduce myself like Casey. Hi, my name's Shannon Evans. I'm a local Cincy consultant. I usually don't sound like this. Um, and then I tell them uh, we have uh, back then when I originally did it, we have a new product. It's a diffuser. It's literally the best diffuser on the market. I told them it's got 16 lighting options, three misting options, a lifetime warranty. It's just amazing. And not only can it help with like aromatherapy needs, but it's beautiful. Uh, do you have like three minutes that are little or it will take me three minutes to show it to you. And they, you know, would either say yes or they would say no. Uh, usually I talked pretty fast and like got it out so they would, I don't know. So I could let them know it was only going to take three minutes. I wasn't going to be in there for like 45 minutes unless they wanted me to be. And that was the main thing. They wanted it to be quick. But I did sell a lot of them like that. Awesome. Thank you. Um, let's see. Jada, awesome. You get emails from me. Um, I need to look you up. I don't know if you're the one I'm thinking about. Okay. Uh, let's see. When you, when you, when you sponsor a returning consultant, then what? They do not, when you, okay, so this is good information. If someone has sold Cincy before, they can reinstate under your team for free. Now, as long as they have been inactive for, if they, if they were on your team before, they can reinstate after three months for free. They don't get a product kit. They don't get anything. You can only join one time with Cincy using your social security number. After they've been out for more than six months, they can join under a different sponsor. So when those people rejoin, they're called reinstatees, and they don't, they're not eligible for a shooting star or sensational start, but if, like, you want to, you can always give them their own challenge with some kind of perk, you know, like, to hit their 515 days or what have it. Now I will tell you for the incentive that if you get someone that was part of Cincy before and they reinstate under you and they had never sold a thousand dollars before, if they do it now, you get those thousand points. That's awesome that you, you are the seven days. The product credit that you receive, anytime you get product credit, it will come under, you'll see it on your accounts tab. But you can also, when you check out um, at a party where you put on the credit cards, you can use the drop menu and you can see what it is there. It does not show up until the month after. Your, so if my 70th day ends today, it's not going to come until my payday in April. But it comes after payday. I'm not sure what star, Jaden, you're talking about in the family store. Oh, there's a Cincy Pay app. See, I don't even use my card. So, and I don't use any of it. It just comes to my bank account. I didn't even though home parties are local. It is okay to show discontinued items. So I have discontinued items in my stock that I'll show people if they come over or share out about, but just be careful because people can't order it. But I have a lot of people that show up to my house to smell Cincy or my bars and they can buy my stock all day long. Hope that answered your question. If it's not, I know I'm going fast, but I don't want to keep you on longer than an hour. If your PRV is above 200, do you get hostess credit? How much do you need to get free and half off? Like it's split between multiple people, like 200 PRV, multiple hosts, not people. Okay, so $200 is a qualified party. So if you have a host, she wants to get to 200 completely um, because $200 is your qualified party. That's going to get you the free and half off um, product and also shipping. I hope that clarifies. If it doesn't, you can ask it again. Yeah, I am all about using those half offs on bulbs. Daniel says, buy a, buy a go and you can get a catalog free. Can we set up displays in the mall and stuff to sell Scentsy? Casey? No. I didn't think so. I was thinking, mm -hmm. I think you can't because it's a... It's a retail establishment. Retail we can't do that. Okay. We can have a display, but we cannot cash and carry. So, yeah. So, I used to have warmers in different shops around the area, then I would go and change their wax. It didn't really pay off for me, but I know for some people it does pay off if you take one of your used warmers and you just, and you could put like a, um, a drawing thing there, but you can't put cash and carry. Amanda, we love you too. I know, Mexico's gonna be fun. I know, it, it did look like Daniel was petting a rabbit or a puppy. Sorry, I'm just reading this. 
Oh my god. Oh, it's a dog. They had puppies. Sorry. I thought it was, I thought he was petting Amanda. I thought they were being funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Jaden, that's so awesome. Seriously, you guys like embrace it and be so excited about what you guys have done. Let's see. Nathan Shaw, the CFO, you said <laughs> something. I don't remember. I remember. Okay, I'm going. Oh no, Reba. Uh, mini testers are key. Okay, so can you get, you can get more mini testers. Yeah, you're going to do it in your Cincy Family Store. Okay, if you're going to buy anything in the Cincy Family Store, add it to a qualified party that's shipping to your house. Don't go to the Cincy Family Store and shop and pay shipping. Add it to a qualified party. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I'm, I close the party, I'm excited, and I'm like, oh, I forgot to order it, yeah. but I'm not going to go pay the shipping. All the time. All the time. I mean, I'm all about the free shipping. Like, literally, I have a $56 order sitting here that was sent to me. I will I will work the next day following up with people, making sure I can get it to 200 for shipping in my, to my house. And that way, she doesn't have to wait that long. Now, in the family store, the only time you have to pay shipping, I don't think it's changed, um, is when it's personalized stuff, like your decal and maybe your business cards. I buy business cards with Vistaprint, so I'm not 100% sure. Somebody can oh, correct me if you know. Okay, what do you do when someone takes the mini testers? That's actually a very good question. Um, so a few years ago, when I was doing all my bag parties, I sent one out, and it was actually to one of my, it was actually to my old youth pastor, and she did a bag party for me. And then when I said, "Well, can you mail them back?" she was just like, "Huh?" I said, "What?" She's like, "Oh, I thought I threw them away when I was done." I was like, "What? Who throws my testers away? It's just a loss." And just remember. You can write it up on taxes while we're talking about taxes. I've got to have them done in the next 12 days. Yeah, bless, bless my heart. Here's just some of my receipts, just a few. Okay, so one of the biggest tips, I may be saying it, Casey, I don't know, that Casey told me, I think, or she, did you say I told you? Okay, well, I don't know who told me, but I remember Casey telling me, reminding me, go into your workstation when you order any business products from Family Store or stock for samples or anything like that. Create a customer that's called business expenses and put them all under business expenses. And at the end of the year, you just go look up business expenses and you can pull up everything you bought. It's kind of genius. And I, so except I didn't do it all year last year. I'm going to have to literally go through and see what I bought. So make sure that you do that because it will help you so much um, with tax season. Thanks for finally sharing four years later. I know. Uh, I don't know what she was thinking. This Thank you, Casey. That only makes sense. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we do start conversations with people we come in contact with, and I think you just become more comfortable with it. I mean, it's very out of my comfort zone. I would actually prefer just to stay home all day, every day. Um, but I can't. I have to meet people. So if you have, like, um, I stay home and I homeschool my kids. We have homeschool groups. So one of the best places if you're home with your kids and you don't work is the park. Or if you're off work, take your kids to the park and talk to that mom that's swinging her kid next to you. If you go, if your kids are in sports, guys, one of the best ways that I really um, met people here and they found out what I did was not because I came off and like, hey, I still sent you on a sample. It was because when we went to T-ball that one year um, and when we went to church, I always had a Cincy cup. And I always had a Cincy bag. So I did not buy a lot from the Cincy family store early on, but I sure bought me a cup and I bought me a bag and I carried them everywhere because um, Lisa Dolan, a director on our team, I met her through T-Ball and she always made fun of my big old Cincy cup. And then um, I remember in the early years of Cincy at church, I always had my cup, right? And then even though I wanted coffee, I had my water cup in Sunday school that would sit there. And I remember someone saying, um, to me, like, I can't remember what they said now, but they mentioned like how I sold Cincy. And I'm like, well, I've never told you that, you know, because I'm not one of those, I'm really not in your face about it. And they're like, well, I mean, you only carry that big old cup everywhere. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I, I don't know, Jaden, if you can actually, I don't know. How would you set up a display in the mall? Those are all like, unless it's a privately owned place, I don't know if they would let you. Are you immune to yourself, Sabrina, or no? Thought you were trying to say something. Oh, okay, never mind. Amanda answered. You have to be okay. Amanda Daniel and Amanda answered. The star behind me, the warmer. 
I guess it's already mom. You have to earn that. You have to get level two or three of sensational start. And um, when we get off this, I'll post the graphic. Oh, because I didn't get, they didn't have that when I got mine. Do you have a question, Amanda? Hey, I've got, I've got two things. Or some um, so whenever I'm talking to people and I always wait for an opening to go into Sensi, and I can tell as soon as I head into that conversation whether that person's willing or not. So if as soon as I get that feeling that that person isn't willing, I back out of that. Okay. Um, for the person that says, "How do you talk to people in the mall?" Um, I'll I'll tell you what Richard Sis does. He'll carry around something, either a scent pod or something like that, and he'll be like. Hey, do you like this smell? And he starts conversations with people he doesn't even know, just like that. I know she works in the mall. There's a lot of people in the mall, depending on where she's at. But just something as simple as, does this smell good? You know, I mean, you're going to have to find your niche and you're going to have to get comfortable. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. And Daniel's comfortable talking to everyone. Everybody. Everybody. And there was one time locally here, probably a year ago now, I don't know, we did a group, if you start to grow a team and you want to do this, it was very out of my comfort zone, which is why we did it. But we did a group thing at our local mall where we went, we had lunch, we got up the nerve, and then we all separated, and we we had a goal or something. I think my goal was like, I needed to talk to five people. And I actually just, it's so funny, I was going through my cell phone and my old text, and what I did, oh, I remember that, okay. What I did was I had them smell A and B, like two cents. You can do this all on your own. And then I said, can you, t um, A or B, which one's your favorite or whatever? And then they would tell me, I was like, you know what? I'm doing a drawing for it. Can I give you my, can I get your cell phone number? I'm going to text you a graphic and then you text me back and tell me which one is your favorite. That, this is what I did. I got them smelling it. I got their information and they texted me back. So I knew they gave me the right phone number. That's how I did it because it, it helped me get out of my comfort zone. But we did that as a team, and that was actually a lot of fun. Then we came together and talked about it. And um, I know Sabrina, this that was very out of mine and Sabrina's comfort zone. And we would pass each other, and she's like, I'm like, how you doing? And then, but if you have kids, use your kids. I, if you don't have kids, that's okay. But I took my kids with me, you know, and my son will sell Cincy better than me. So that's Pretty key. Um, Ashley asked again about the business. I said, make a customer in your workstation called business expenses. And when you buy any things for your business to put it in there, and then at the end of the year, you can look it up. Casey, I think I'm going to ask you to answer this one again. Um, what should you take to a vendor event? Casey does a lot of them and you're brand new. What would you say? And if you've got time to time and the interest and money to buy anything um, then I would just say bars and bulbs if you don't um, then just take whatever you got in your kit and a smile on your face um, if you look at our um, buy host and join backwards um, join host and buy so focus more on having people join and then host and then buy from you. You're looking more for those long-term contacts, not an in immediate contact. So if you look at it that way, um, make that your focus and not the immediate sale. Thank you. Sabrina and I have an event this, this Sunday. Oh my gosh. Um, this Sunday, and we are doing that. We're focusing solely on um, getting people to join and just making those contacts in our local area. But don't, I mean, I totally would not go um, buying a whole lot of Scentsy. Um, take your kit, do a drawing if you want to get their information. Go ahead, Casey. Drawing slips are key. Make sure you do take drawing slips so that you get um, all of their info and make sure that whenever you get their info that you go back into your workstation, go to the contacts tab, then make, you can see where there's a check mark down the right hand side. You can see if they are getting your newsletter and you'll have to go in and edit each one, but do that so that they do get your newsletter and you're not having to do it. It's all passive, but that's um, key. And then you can text them and stuff and put all, put their name in your phone and whatnot, but um, make sure that you are getting good contact info. Good job. I mean, thank you. 
<laughs> so Nate's showing me something. So I'm saying good job to this text, but I'm talking to you. Okay. Irene is showing you some drawing slips. Uh, Daniel, Amanda, do you have something else to add? Your hand is still raised. Okay. So we are going to stop now because it's after 10, but we hope that this helped you guys. If you have any questions, please ask. And don't be afraid to get involved on your, your director's page and our Brave Family page, because I'm, I'm honest here, the people that show up go up. And I've seen it, I've been here for four years, and I, I see it. When you show up for things, you go up. So we are excited you're part of this. Start sharing the opportunity with people because it's, it's a major blessing, right? Anything else you want to add? <clears throat> Uh, no, you pretty much carried like three quarters of this whole conversation like towards. <laughs> well, it's because he came home late from work, so we only got through the first part, and then I'm like, well, I'll just do the rest. And yes, you can add me on Facebook. Anyone can add me on Facebook. Real fast, one more thing. When you're sharing things on Facebook, one of the worst things you can do for your business is copy and pasting everything that you see everybody else doing. Especially, like, we have people that take a graphic in the exact same words. There have been people that have not even, I'll be talking about my husband and kids and they copy and paste the exact same thing. I'm like, oh, your husband and kids did that too? That's awesome. You know, like be mindful of that. Just like mine. <laughs> just like. So that's why today, if you go in Brave Family, I created a, um, I created a album with all the pictures that are a lot of the pictures that came from the, um, when I see people laughing at Total Joe's we off, I have ADD. Um, you can go put your name on it and do something about it to make it different to be yours. And when you're hosting your own Facebook party, don't feel bad about using things. That's different. But like the more you can do for yourself, awesome. Amanda? We were laughing because you were describing your husband and kids and how people use your posts. And then Jaden's comment came through <laughs> at right at that time. And it says, I only did that for my first party page and now making my own. And it just came at right that moment. I'm sure she meant it for <laughs> copying and pasting posts though, but it was funny. Okay. Sorry. No, you're fine. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're so excited. And if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are all a family. We're here to see you guys succeed. We'll see you later. Bye.